Namaskar. I welcome you all to my channel, Maths with Anita Sharma. Today's topic is basics of fractions. And in coming days, I will share more videos on fractions. So let us begin with today's topic. So you can see here some symbols and some figures. You must be familiar of these uh, figures and uh, fractions. They all are related to fractions. Let us understand them in detail. So let us count few apples. So how many apples are there? This is one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, or we can write that there are four apples. So let us count again. How many apples are here or how much apple is here? How much apple is this piece? How can we count these? They are not whole apples. They are part of an apple. So part of an apple, or we can say that they are fraction of an apple. Hmm? So fraction means a part of a, any object, anything. So fraction means a part of a whole when divided equally. So you can see here, it is a part of a cake. Here it is a part of a chocolate. It is a part of a pizza. It's a part of a watermelon. And it is some part of apple so we can say that fraction is simply a number used to express a part of a whole mathematically how can we measure them how much is this so just to mathematically count them we use the concept of fractions now whole and its parts you will understand more with this examples here you can see there is a one whole watermelon and whole we just write with one. This one, symbol of one is used to write one whole. One watermelon. And these are the pieces of watermelon. Hmm? These are parts of watermelon. Here you can see whole bread. This is one bread. And here are the parts of the bread. Pieces of breads are parts of one whole bread. Hmm? I hope the uh, concept is very clear. Now let us understand one situation. Here is a cake shared by six friends. Just see, this is the top of the cake. You can see, but it is not, you know, um, how much cake did each friend eat? Can we uh, just tell how much? Mathematically, we can't say. Because this cake is not divided into equal parts. Some parts are small, some parts are big. We can't say. Let us consider another situation. Just see here is the top of the cake and you can see that all the parts are equal. How much cake did each friend eat? Can we say? Here we can express each friend share as fraction. As the cake is divided into equal parts. So each friend ate one piece of a cake which can be expressed as one sixth of a cake. So this is one by six or one sixth is a, this is a, how we write in fractions. But how to write, I will explain you in the coming slides. So to express a part of a whole, mathematically, we develop the concept of fractions. Mathematically, how much? Hmm? Now, symbols like one by eight, two by five, three by seven or five by six, they are used to write a fraction. And how we are using it, I will just explain you. Now, a whole is represented by one. One whole, anything that is represented by symbol one. Now, what is whole? Now, you can see many pictures on the screen. Whole can be anything like an apple. Hmm? We can make parts of an apple, a chapati. We can make part of chapati also. So, whole can be a glass of juice. Hmm? Collection of things like packets of toffees, box of laddus at extra. Any geometrical shape like circle or square, it can be considered as whole. And a rupee or some amount of money. 
कुछ अमाउंट है आपके बैग में आप उसमें से कुछ पार्ट आपने खर्च कर दिया तो दैट पार्ट इज हाउ मच और हाउ मच इज लेफ्ट विद यू सो अमाउंट कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज होल और एन आर और अ डे भी आपने दो घंटे पढ़ाई करी तो जो टू आवर्स हैं दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ डे आपने ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टीवी देखा तो ट्वेंटी मिनट्स इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ पार्ट ऑफ एन आर सो वन के जी पटेटोज हाउ मच यू कोड हाउ मच कॉट स्पॉइल्ड और अ बॉटल ऑफ ऑयल हाउ मच ऑयल ममा हैज यूज टू मेक द एनी करी फाइन सो एनी थिंग एनी थिंग कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज होल एंड पार्ट ऑफ दैट होल हाउ टू एक्सप्रेस मैथमेटिकली वी विल we use the concept of fraction that is called fraction so now how to read and write any fraction we understood what is whole we understood what are the parts of the whole so how to read and write fractions let us understand so to write any fraction we need two things the one is in how many equal parts a whole is divided into kitne tukde kiye humne kisi cheez ke और उसके लिए हम टर्म यूज करते हैं डिनोमिनेटर द टर्म यूज टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स अ होल इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू इज कॉल्ड डिनोमिनेटर नाउ नंबर ऑफ कंसीडर्ड पार्ट्स इट इज कॉल्ड न्यूमरेटर कंसीडर्ड पार्ट मींस हम किस के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू इन कमिंग स्लाइड इन अ बेटर वे that is called numerator so denominator and numerator these are two things which you need to know to understand the basics of fractions now fraction can be expressed in the form of n by d so n by d here n stands for numerator and d stands for denominator denominator we always write below numerator d for down you can just remember it this way the denominator we always write below numerator on the top numerator and below there is denominator so let us understand it with one example hmm? so mother ordered a pizza it was divided into eight equal parts my sister ate three slices and two slices of pizza i ate so this green part is my share and this yellow part is my sister's share hmm? so how much pizza did i eat maine kitna khaya i should know how i can express it mathematically let us understand so first thing i told you denominator denominator means kitne tukde hain pizza ke kitne kiye gaye hain that is eight you can see here eight eight parts this pizza is divided into eight parts so denominator is 8 now considered part number of i am considering my share so numerator is number of pizza parts eaten by me that is 2 so i am considering my share that is numerator here so now fraction of pizza eaten by me maine kitna pizza khaya that is i will write 2 divided by 8 ya 2 by 8 8 Out of eight, two pieces. Uh, how to write it in words? Two eighths. Hmm? So I can say that I ate two eighths of the pizza. So I know now I can express my share with mathematically using the concept of fractions. Now let us understand here how much pizza did my sister eat? Hmm? So here is the pizza. Sister's share is yellow one. so denominator here denominator remains same because the pizza is divided into eight parts so denominator is eight but considered part is changing now i am considering how much my sister ate so my sister ate three pieces three parts out of eight so considered part is three so now fraction of pizza eaten by my sister how much Out of it, three parts. So three by eight, and I will write it as three eighths. So my sister ate three eighths of the pizza. So I hope now you understood what are fractions, what is whole, 
what is numerator what is denominator and how to write fraction and how to read fraction now one thing is very important to understand here what is considered part hmm? it should be very clear depending on any whole considered part can be how much part is eaten or not eaten if suppose i am talking about pizza or any cake kitna part maine khaya ya maine kitna part nahi khaya what i am considering hmm? how much money is spent or saved i have some amount of money मैंने कितने पैसे सेव किए मैं ये जानना चाहती हूँ और आई वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ मच आई स्पेंड हाउ मच पार्ट ऑफ अ फिगर इज शेडेड और अनशेडेड इफ देर इज अ जोमेट्रिकल फिगर यू नो टू अंडरस्टैंड फिगर्स थ्रू जोमेट्रिकल शेप इज वेरी वेरी ईजी फॉर द स्मॉल किड्स सो उसमें से कितना पार्ट शेड किया कितना पार्ट अनशेडेड है सो दैट दैट कैन बी कंसिडर्ड पार्ट क्या कंसिडर कर रहे हैं हम or how much rice is cooked or remained uncooked so it depends what is your whole ab us whole mein se aap kya consider kar rahe ho that is your numerator fine so now let us take few examples let us take a rectangle because geometrical shapes are very easy to understand so this whole rectangle this is the whole whole can be anything as i told you so now divide it into five equal parts and color two so it will look like like this you know five parts and two are shaded so now denominator is 5 because it is divided into five parts how much is numerator now i am considering how many parts are shaded that is 2 now fraction for the shaded part is 2 by 5 out of 5 two parts are shaded so we can say that 2 fifth of the rectangle is shaded understand with one more example here whole is a circle just see there is a circle now let us divide it into four equal parts and we will color three parts so it will look like this four parts you can see 1 2 3 4 and three are shaded so how much is denominator kitne part kiye hai humne isko kitne part mein divide kiya four now numerator i am considering unshaded how much circle is unshaded how much part of the circle is unshaded so that is out of four one so uh, my considered part is unshaded part that is one so fraction for the unshaded part is 1 by 4 out of four one part is unshaded so how we will say we can say that one fourth part of the circle is unshaded so you understood so now let us uh, do little drill that is which of the following statement is true now you can see the picture is in front of you there is a triangle triangle is divided into three parts and the statement says that one third of the triangle is shaded is it true just think about it it is divided into three parts and one is shaded but yes you got it it is not true it is false because the parts are not equal it is it should be equal part the thing uh, any whole should be divided into equal parts now just see once again here here is a pentagon now the statement says that 2/4 of the pentagon is shaded so the denominator is 4 no it is divided into four parts and the shaded parts are 2 bilkul correct bilkul theek hai to ye sahi hai ya galat yes you are right it is false because again the parts are not equal it is not divided equally so now take another figure here all the parts are equally divided and it is saying 1/4 of the square is unshaded denominator is 4 unshaded part is 1 yes it is true fine so let us move to the next slide when a whole is divided into two equal parts each part represents half of the whole just see if i divide i'm dividing the apple into two parts then each part each divided part is called half half of an apple and what happens if i just uh, just put together two halves two halves make a whole agar main dono halves ko jod do to whole ban jayega zara dekhiye kaise this is half and here is half if i put together one whole is complete now 
move to the next slide when a whole is divided into four equal parts each part represent quarter of the whole just see here is a cake cake is divided into four equal parts yes this one part is one fourth of a cake or quarter of a cake so if i put together all the quarters then what happens it makes a whole how just see this is one quarter this is another quarter two quarters three quarters and four quarters so it completes the whole so four quarters make a whole fine i hope it is very clear to you so let us learn to read and write fractions in words now just see it is first one is 2 2 by 3 how we read it in words 2 thirds the next one is 1 by 5 one fifth 3 by 4 we read as 3 fourths how 1 6 this is 1 sixth next is 2 by 10 or 2 tenths 1 by 3 or 1 third so here you have to just notice one thing if your numerator is singular means we are talking about only one thing then there is no s 1 sixth we are talking about only one part so s is not there if the plural is uh, if the numerator is plural 2 then we are putting s because we are talking about two things or three things or four things use the uh, concept of grammar here two parts so s we will put two tenths three fourths hmm? so i hope the things are very clear and uh, it will really help you in understanding the fractions so for my uh, next video i am going to explain you about equivalent fractions so be ready for my next video thank you